Hey everyone, it's Alessandra here, and as you can see, I am not in my kitchen back at school. I am in Aspen, Colorado right now, and that is because I go to college in New York City and the coronavirus has closed our doors and moved everything online. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can be an on-the-go student and share my uh, week in Aspen with you guys. So today it's snowing out, but I do have to do two midterms within today. So the way that I get through this and my first tip for doing schoolwork while you're not at school is to have a planner. This is my planner and it is literally my life. I put everything in there. It helps me stay organized. And if it's super important, I'll put a reminder on my phone so that it alarms me to check my planner and make sure I get what's done. So for today, I'm gonna be heading the mountains for a little bit, then coming back to take my midterm. So see you then. Just got to the mountain and I'm so excited to go shred down these hills because there is not a lot of people around, which means I can go full speed ahead. After that amazing powder run that had a very long catwalk, we are taking a little kombucha break. We just climbed and hiked for 10 minutes to get to the very tippiest top of the mountain. Isn't this the longest run in America? Yeah, it's called Long Shot. It's the longest run in the U.S. place for groom runs. Wow. But probably we're gonna skip the groom part and go right through the trees. We just finished eating and we found this really cool coaster thing that we're about to try. We'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I am currently in the hot tub right now. After a long day of skiing, my favorite thing to do is to go in the hot tub and rest my muscles for the next day. So I'm here with my dad right now. Say hi to the fans. And we're relaxing. So we're heading to dinner soon and we just went to go get pastries, which I forgot to take a video, but I'll show you them before we eat them but we're just waiting for my mom to come back inside, outside. My dad's on the phone for work. Nothing new here. So right now we are having dinner at our friend's house in Aspen and we have Chef Marco Porcedu cooking for us and I'm very excited for this. So I will be keeping you guys updated on tonight's meal. I have so much work to do, so no skiing for me today, but my dad's going out. See you, baby. Now that everyone is getting on with their day, it is time for me to do some work before I can enjoy the rest of my day on vacation. my 
top seven tips for traveling while having to study. The first tip is to make a list of all of your responsibilities. The second tip is to mark down all of your travel activities. The third and most important tip is to make sure that you know your deadlines. The fourth tip is to mark down specific times to study. The fifth tip is to make sure that you have reliable internet connection. How are you gonna do work if you don't have internet connection? The sixth tip, make sure you have your chargers. You need your chargers to use your technology and internet connection to send in your assignments. And the seventh is don't compromise on sleep. I know you wanna go out and have fun and enjoy your vacation and do your homework, but make a time for both. Don't make your sleep take the hit for that. Just finished my last piece of homework. Time to enjoy the last few hours in Aspen. So we are leaving in an hour and we needed to clear out everything we had in the fridge that we bought for the week. And so I'm whipping up a little uh, pasta con penne and crema e salmone. It's a traditional dish, super easy. I just melted some butter in a pan, added a little bit of smoke, cut up smoked salmon and a little bit of lemon juice, some heavy cream. I'm going to boil the penne and then mix them all together. Quick, simple, easy pasta dish. Just finished making this last minute meal and I think that we did a pretty good job. Some fresh pasta and some leftovers we had. And that's how you make a leftover meal. I'm about to leave Aspen, but I need some last minute shopping and I found this really cute store. Let's go see what they have inside. Check out all of these cool leggings and headscarves and hats. I've literally never seen anything like this before. How cool. I just got home from Aspen. I'm sad, but I have something really cool to show you guys that I got right before I left. Check out these leggings I got from the store that I showed you guys before I left. They have owls on them and they have all different prints, but these are just some of the ones I like. They have owls in the back as well. Super cool, super awesome. I'm excited to wear these out. I started talking to the store owner. His name was Dennis, super cool guy. And he was telling me how more than half of their collection is online. So check out the description below, check out their website. I know I'm gonna be buying more because I'm obsessed with these different wacky leggings. And when I told him that I had a YouTube channel, he really wanted to help me out and help you guys out. And so he gave me the code cheap a. This will get you 10% off and free shipping on all orders that are over $50. And if you go on their website that has a ton more stuff, not just leggings, hats and jackets, and ski pants and literally everything and it's so awesome and so original. That's all for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed. It was a little different than what I've been putting out so far, but if you like this and you want me to make other videos like this, just comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and follow me on Instagram. And again, comment any other recipes or video ideas you'd like me to make.